Hello, Chris Green here with the Flood Insurance Guru. Today we're talking about the 2020 FHA update when it comes to private flood insurance. You see this house right here? It can have a major impact on your flood insurance when it comes to loan types. If you haven't checked out our YouTube channel, make sure to subscribe above where we do these daily flood education videos. You can also find information on our website, floodinsuranceguru.com, we, where we did do a blog on this last year about an update. But 2020's got a different update, and we're gonna take a few minutes today to talk about that. Remember, we have an educational background in flood mitigation, which means we can help you understand flood risk like this one right here. Your flood insurance and mitigating your property long-term to help you minimize flood losses and flood premiums. So what exactly is going on with, FHA, with FHA? Now, recently on November 10th, FHA put out an announcement that they were opening up a 60-day comment period to accept private flood insurance. Now, this is huge. Through the FDIC's announcement in 2019 when they allowed private flood insurance, one of the catches was FHA was not included in that because FHA has different guidelines when it comes to flood insurance because, you know, they insure mortgages. That's why, as we stand right here in November 2020, currently FHA loans do not accept private flood. But after this 60-day period, hopefully they will. So what will happen after this 60-day period? Well, they're going to take comments and feedback really on whether they should accept private flood or not. And then they'll make a decision whether they're going to accept it. Now, more than likely, if they do accept it, probably sometime first quarter, of course, after that 60 days, then they might put in a six month waiting period like they did back in 2019, where they talked about in February, but didn't put it in place until July. But what this means is if you're purchasing a home like this right here and you're doing an FHA loan and all this does go through, you'll have all the flood insurance options available. You won't be forced to go through the National Flood Insurance Program. You know, this could drop your flood premiums 30, 40, 50%. What if you currently live in a house and have an FHA loan? Same thing goes for you. At the renewal, remember, because FEMA does not currently allow for midterm cancellations, simply to move to a private policy, unless you're doing a new loan, or possibly your flood zone has changed from a high risk to a low risk. So that's, this could be really important for you as well. You know, it might drop your house payment to $300. We've seen that. We've seen it more than that. So these are some things to look for. So, you know, make sure to, as I said, subscribe to our YouTube channel where we do these daily flood education videos. Visit our website where we'll also have a blog out on this and a podcast out on this explaining maybe what the next steps are if it does get approved. We'll also be putting some updates out after the 60-day period. You know, what the process is going to be like then. Are they going to approve it? Are they not? And how you go about switching insurances from maybe a national flood insurance program to a private maybe it's not a better option for you that's the other thing you want to look at so remember if you've got questions about all these things click below to visit our website floodinsuranceguru.com thank you